It's showtime. Yeah. Three of the art ways about to uh, explode. Well, the artwork here is awesome. We have three wonderful artists, you know, and um, if you ever have an opportunity, I don't know if this exhibit is traveling, but it should be traveling because there's just so many themes, so many um, great, great aspects, and um, wow, if I could only just get them all and find somewhere to put them, you know. <laughs> the art is beautiful. I mean, the, the, the art from Mark, showing the beauty of Jamaica, it just makes me want to go to Jamaica right now. Mr. Mark Cameron, you are kind of the pioneer of this whole ensemble of three, the art way. Can you tell us about uh, the event as a whole? I'm a culinary artist and a fine artist. So I do all kinds of different things. And I thought that if you had an, an, um, an art show with different types of events going on at the same time. It would be interesting to the, to the public. So I thought music, food and art goes well together. I, I like the way he takes iconic figures and catches them at a very pivotal moment. So you're looking at Miles Davis and Muhammad Ali, just, you know, pioneers, trailblazers. I went to School of Visual Arts to the graphic arts, but no real formal training um, in terms of fine arts, but graphic arts. And I like that because I don't have any particular style. I, I, didn't, I didn't follow anybody's um, style. It's all, you know, my own type of art that I do. Well, wonderful stuff. I, I know Mark from Jamaica, and I see where his work has evolved. I'm liking, what I like is the abstracts, actually, because he's more known for his photographic realism. And I, I really like this piece here. But this coconut tree is awesome. My cousin is here. She was saying it feels like Jamaica in her, you know, she could get a Jamaica on her wall. These landscapes, dreaming of Jamaica, I mean, the things that I really loved about Jamaica was the nature. So I painted a lot of um, places that my father took me when I was a little kid. Tell us about Paul Campbell, the artist. Well, when, when, I am, uh, when I'm away from the stage or from in front of the camera, I, uh, I have thoughts and feelings as to my surroundings, current events, what's going on, you know. And when I'm affected, I, I like to put it out onto the canvas. Painting or acting or directing, I'm passionate about everything, hence wonderful colors and uh, great stories. In my formative years, uh, think stuff, depressive area, Maxfield Avenue. Uh, there was no. This is a luxury to buy paint, you know. So what I used to do, I used to get the leaves, and I used to squeeze the uh, chlorophyll, the green chlorophyll, out of the leaves, and uh, I had green paint. Just his eye is so different, and I think it's different because of where he's coming from, and you can see that, um, and you see those elements of um, nature and the earth. And it was all so a way of transferring uh, what I felt. There's always something really horrific happening in the ghetto, you know? And for me, that was a way out. And as I grew much older, I, I, I found that it still happened. I can see what he's seeing, you know? He's, it, it, I can see hurt, but there's beauty, but there's still hurt that is happening in this world. Whatever current stories that I go on, which really has true, deep meaning as far as people, a concern, yeah. I want to get involved and put it onto the canvas and take it out of the head because when there are too many things in the head, you know how it is. I think it's fabulous. I mean, it's very creative and it's different, you know? Um, everyone paints the traditional piece, but this is non-traditional and this brings a lot to the imagination. We all know you as a cabaret singer, the most famous cabaret singer out of Jamaica, who is now the lead singer of the Third World Band. Now we find out you're also an artist. Both talents feed off of each other. And uh, what happened was, while I was going to art school, that's when I got the call to audition. <laughs> what is it that you draw your inspiration from to create these pieces? Yeah, there's landscape, there's... Um, Self-portraits, there's... Um, a little bit of everything. Yeah, uh, you know, um, a piece with my daughter who's asleep, you know. Um, just basically um, what interests me. 
I do like AJ's uh, work, um, a lot of diversity. There's still life, there's scenery, there is his portrait. Love the colors behind you, the blues and the greens, really nice. I love his work, I love his work. That, that the one with the child sleeping is just absolutely amazing. I would buy that right now. Three of the Artway is about to uh, explode, unleash the wonderful, fantastic color delights of Mark Cameron. Uh, incomparable AJ Brown is about to perform and I want to tell Mark that it's time to go. We talked about Frida Artway and we had the first show in um, at the Miami Film House, yeah, about three years ago. It's been a ride, isn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it? And, and uh, it's only the beginning. More so than anything else, what we wanted to do as three Jamaicans is to uh, spread the culture by way of taste, by way of smell, and by way of vision. And that's why the singer, the culinary person, and the actor came together to make this into something that we hope, as we travel, we hope that it will teach, you know. So it's so much more than just an art show. Think of love and I think of life and you're always around. Life can be such a sweet paradise and you're always around. To love and I live through life and you Life can be such a sweet paradise and you